Hello and welcome to the Creaky Coolest of the Monk and today we are going to be starting our playthrough of each episode of The Expanse, a Telltale series. Now this game has recently released, released and uh, The Expanse is actually a prequel to the TV show as well. Now I'm going to try my best not to interrupt too much of the cinematics. This is a story driven game after all. Um, but yeah, so if you are joining me on the very first episode, a big thank you to you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel that way you don't miss out on the rest of the series as well. But we're going to have some fun and see where this story actually takes us. I am a huge fan of the Telltale series. Um, I love games that give you the player, the decision, the control over the fate of the game. And that's exactly what this game offers up. Um, so I am very, very much looking forward to uh, seeing where this story actually takes us. But anyway, let's uh, me shush and uh, let's actually enjoy this story. Our last mission. I've heard that before. This is the one. By the end of the day, all of us are going to be fucking rich, but mostly you and me. It's another wreck. It's not just any wreck. The UNN Urshinabi dropped off the map less than a week ago. No distress call. Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes bounty on your head. But the past is the past. The past is the past. Why didn't you take it? The bounty. I knew you were worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable. Our first decision. I love this. I already know I'm gonna love this game. You don't own don't make me. The same mistake he did. I work for you. But you don't own me. <laughs> Believe me, I'm well aware. Just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. No, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. You and me. We've got a good thing going here. Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. And hell, if this score is what I think it could be, you've got the deal of the century. Now drink. I don't trust this guy. I definitely don't want to drink with him. Much. As much as I love whiskey, that is. Um, yeah. I don't think I'm going to regret that decision I'll either. I'll waiting for when you return. Time to rally the crew for Cox's latest, last mission. I should start by briefing Khan. Khan, new orders from the captain. I know. He already sent me the coordinates. Captain thinks that this could be... Last score we'll ever need. All of a century. I got the pep talk from him. What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. Oh dear. I made the lackey upset. Forgive me. 
I don't like this character. I don't like this character either. And I know that as we go through, I'm going to be an making oh, friends man. or not making friends with different people and it's going to really affect this playthrough this episode um but i don't like her massive. it'll take me a minute to navigate somebody blew that ship to hell and back i should check the command console for more information on the ocean i'll be it's interesting because I wasn't really too sure how much control we'd have um, level to level, but I kind of like the fact that, you know, it looks like we're going to be admittedly going in from cutscene um, to cutscene, um, going around completing little objectives, possibly. Um, I haven't played one of these games for so long. Um, I'm really glad that Telltale series have actually gone ahead and released a new game. Now, it's not the prettiest looking but um what telltale the game has ever been that good looking right um and on our scavenge missions it's interesting it's really interesting i'm looking forward to this i love me some sci-fi um i never actually watched a tv show so you know for anyone that's watched a tv show you're gonna have to let me know um but just how close um, you know, this game actually is whether it gives you those expanse vibes. I'm wondering if there's anything around for me to actually pick up or if it's just little bits of information about the ship um, that we're seeing. I like the fact that there's this ping system. So if I get lost, I know exactly where I'm going to be going. That's bloody handy. It means that I'm not going to have to run around like a headless chicken um, all of the time. Ship seems bloody big. Virgil. Virgil. <sighs> Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in auto dock repair during my residency. Useful for work outside the medical system. It's been giving me abnormal readings since series. But I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded. This looks like the kind of job that Maya would kill for. While Miss Castillo can no doubt install a new crystal, I'm afraid we'll need a new one first. I can only imagine what ancient welding equipment the captain dug this stone out of. But we'll need a high quality gem for surgical work. I assume you didn't come here to talk about crystals. We have a new target. What is it this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? Let me guess. The Falcon Horde of Venus? <laughs> the UNN Urshanabi. Cap believes there's something valuable on board. Something special. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? We'll be fine. In and out. No games. I'll monitor any data you send back, and I'll be here to patch anyone up, should it come to that. When Cox recruited me, so, Virgil is the medic, by the looks of it. What? Why have we got all those prosthetics? That's interesting because I looked on the uh, on the Xbox store and you can clearly see that someone is going to lose a leg or there's at least an option for that. I wonder if we do actually take the leg. Maybe Virgil kind of replaces it with a prosthetic leg. Interesting. This time? Not you really know, sure what to make of Virgil yet. Huh? Ow, just let me go. It just fell, okay? Well, I tell you, Tinsha, you stupid prick. Quit fucking up. Boss man, make him stop. Shut it, Okaka. I'm enjoying this. Carry on. Oh, and we just got our first character. The character will remember that. Eesh, have I just annoyed the wrong person? Look. <laughs> 
We got a job, Baratnos. Listen up. Nah, fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real payday. He said, give me three months and you never have to work again. He said, he said, this is the next job. And he, the boss man. <sighs> Just like series. Bossing everyone around, only this time no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? Punch him. Gotta punch him. And he will remember that. Okay, interesting. I've managed to annoy two characters already. And we're barely 15 minutes into this campaign. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Question is, am I going to live to regret that decision? Come on, Baratna. Food in the belt is never fancy. But my stomach still turns when I look at this mush. Now I know I probably shouldn't have punched him. Um, and possibly I shouldn't have let that fight continue either. But that's this game, right? It's these decisions that are going to matter. Um, how these episodes, how this story uh, goes. The relations that I build with certain characters. It's really going to matter. And that's why I love the Telltale series. It's such a good game. Um, well, these games in general are so good. Um, but hey, I'm supposedly some kind of officer. Um, from what I'm getting, so if I'm gonna run my ship a certain way, we're gonna be tough. Where are you going to go, Kamina? Huh? Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. <laughs> Hate me all you want. You are many things, Beltaloda, but you are not a traitor. You love your Bell, and right now, Bell is me. I'm busy. You're late. Quit tinkering and get your helmet. We're about to push off. Fucking make me. <laughs> Typical Martian. With a mouth that only knows how to kiss ass and spew caca. <laughs> I already beat Arlen's ass today. Guess Virgil can handle one more patient. <laughs> I should put you in the brig for this. You'd have to catch me first. Cutting thrust. Prepare to enter float in three, two. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Come on, let me hear it. You got me. <laughs> Fuck yes. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> you were kicking my ass for a minute. I thought you had me again. That was a good move. <laughs> we're gonna have to go with a little weak. I think perhaps Maya is a uh, future love interest, or it hasn't revealed yet as a love interest. Bones up against the ceiling. 
Don't believe everything they taught you in the Martian Navy. My bones are just as strong as yours. I didn't believe a single thing they taught me at that fascist brainwash factory. That's why I'm here with you, brittle bitches. Arlen and Rayan have begun breaching the airlock off the bridge. Once we're in, we are going Holy to- Holy shit, Io! Usually Io is covered up by these dust streams that fire off from its poles after volcanic activity. But it's clear as day. It's a moon. It's just a moon, it right? It's like any other moon. Pale and lumpy. Don't you talk about her like that. She's a beautiful volcanic goddess. <laughs> I usually only look for what could kill me out here. But it's nice getting to see it through your eyes. Even if they're the eyes of an inner who doesn't know her ass from her oxygen bulb. You mean an inner who pile-drived your ass into a ceiling, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's head out. Just remember to- Woohoo! <sighs> As I was saying, remember to keep your weight back when you land. Still, not bad for an inner who's barely been in the belt for a month, hey? Reminds me when Rayon and I were learning to spacewalk. One time, he crashed right into the hole and shit his back suit. <laughs> shut, <laughs> shut, shut it! Cool up! Whoa! Uh, airlock is open, Exo. Uh, good. Let's see what we have in here. Table scraps. Ah! Fuck! Yo, Baratna. She's crazy. Just breathe. Keep your head down. It's okay. Now say puke in your suit, eh? That you won't choke to death on your own sick. Floating heads. Now, that's kind of cool. Enough. Whoever put out this welcome gift for us is long gone. And they left behind a big-ass ship that must have some valuables still on it. So get scavenging! You all have your orders. Hurry up and do your job so we can get back home. Those floating heads are very, very cool. Um, that's so random. And you can move them. I like this. 
Getting some horror vibes, horror movie vibes coming up right now. There's some really good sci-fi horror movies. Um, like I've watched quite a few of them as well. I can't think of the one that this this scene reminds me of, but you know, it's it's, it's freaky. I kind of like how many options we've had so far um, in the game. It's kind of cool that we've had loads and loads of choice right, right. options um, so far. I mean, we are, you know, probably barely halfway into the first episode um, of the game. And we've had a ton of different options. We've had a, a few different things that have impacted relations that we have with the different characters already as well. And it looks like we are scavengers. Now, like I said, I've never watched a TV show. Um, I don't know if that's a kind of thing. I wonder if, you know, you have watched a TV show, then you're a little bit privy to how this game is going to unfold. Um, being a scavenger in faith in space, you know, tracking down broken up ships and scavenging good good things off them. I think that sounds pretty cool. I think that's a pretty cool job, to be fair. Um I kind of like how these grav boots that we're using, kind of the grav boots that Maya kind of used in order to beat us in that little one-on-one -on -one we had. I like how they're working, how they're actually, we're able just to just walk up walls. I think that's kind of cool. Navigate through engineering. I'm also liking how we can interact with those floating bodies. I know we're in 2023 and all, um, but I am kind of impressed mm -hmm. by that. Doesn't look like a typical pirate attack to me. I agree. Maybe they were looking for something big and couldn't find it. Left the heads to try and scare off anyone else. Makes sense. Especially if they thought other people might come looking. Could be. The scuttlebutt around the Urshanabi has been pretty loud. I'm also really liking how as we go through, we're finding different things. We're able to choose to talk to our crew members. Um, and, you know, the, the dialogue that we're getting from that, that's even like more information whether we want it or not. Need I love it. Very cool. Printing? Do we? <gasps> yes! Gimme, give gimme! Give to scavenge drummer looks like the officer's section is still intact go check it out on it you know the military the brass always i honestly wasn't expecting this i had no idea what to expect so. from this game going in um but i think the level of detail that's been put into into this opening episode is pretty cool us just like exploring this abandoned graveyard of a ship is pretty sick got to admit and it's so fluid as well like you know us the controls uh, it's it's so fluid it's, it's not it doesn't feel clunky or another dead body how's the search going not much to find in this sea of kaka you haven't found much so far. You hear that, Baradna? Exo got the easy job inside, and she still can't fight for Lota. This all feels spooky. You wanna I don't be trust inside you the inside. Ship? Don't break so many things, and I might let you near the fancy tech. Well, see, now that ah, option didn't come up Exo. with like a, a bad yeah, thing. Yeah. Hey, I we've been given a side objective as well. Find the new laser crystal we're gonna do our best to try and find that new laser crystal but if i don't find it guys you know if you maybe if you find it let me know down in the comments a fuel barrel all to collect wait did you just that was a pressure sensitive panel it must be connected to quick get away from there Pashang, what combustion in five four three two <laughs> Z 
really? I'm actually a little bit disappointed. Oh I was hoping to see that explosion. Right explosion now. in space would have been kind of cool. Um, I hope you're I wonder, very proud of yeah, yourself. It, yeah. Shame I it was a joke. I really am. I kind of like Maya. I like how playful they are with each other. Hey, Drama and Maya. You tell me why there's OPA graffiti on our containment boat? Why not? You used to run things on series. Don't you support the OPA? The OPA has a lot of enemies. And you just stuck their symbol where anyone can see it. You think that's smart? <laughs> She's got you there, Baratna. Yeah, fine. But I'd rather be brave than smart. We know. Just paint it over. God, this ship seems absolutely massive. Gigantic. I'm really surprised just how far we seem to be able to move around to this level or this area that they've given us. I wonder just how big it really is. Um, still no sign of this, uh, of this laser crystal, though. Clean palladium in this recycler. Good pull, drummer. UNN officers always keep a backup water recycler for themselves. Selfish UNN Nakanji princess. Always looking out for themselves. Every army in history has been the same way. A lucky few call the shots and reap the rewards. The rest are cannon fodder. Arlen and Rayan's experience hauling minerals on Vesta has been a big help, even when they annoyed the hell out of me. Commanders, this is Private Takabe. The pirates have asked me to report the following. All crew members, except for those barricaded in the officer's quarters, have been killed or captured. The pirates do not wish to kill anyone else. If you open the gate now and allow them to complete their search, no more lives will be lost. And if you do not comply... Oh God, please don't! So, about that. It's a fingerprint lock. You're going to need to find the right hand. An officer. The bucka. Good news. The logs show that there was one out in the crew mess hall. Second Corporal Horowitz. All right. Might be difficult to get his body back to the door, though. Don't need all of him. Oh, God. So we need to find the right ID to get in. Okay. Could it be one of the bodies we've already floated past? Um... I like the fact that we only need his hand, even the mission says, find the officer's hand. Um, that's, that's quite funny. That's gruesome. Very gruesome. Nice find. <laughs> Thanks. It appears I have one advantage over the pirates that were here. What's that? I know how to look up. Skinnies. Bigoted asshole. He still didn't deserve to die like that. You can't. You've been flying a long time. Ever seen anything like this before? Nah. But when it comes to pirates, nothing surprises me. They're all monsters. That sounds personal. Put it this way. We ever capture one alive? All I need is ten minutes and my torpor blade. The ship would smell like barbecue for weeks. Oh, Pashang.
Not a lot of particulates in the air filter. Virgil, how long do you think the bodies have been like this? A couple of days. Honestly, I'm so That's grateful for this ping system. If we didn't have this ping system, I would be so lost. This place is massive and I already feel like what I'm going around in circles. Um, well, nothing about this attack seems random or impulsive. And yet, what was it all for? There's no clear motive. Very odd. Got to admit, Virgil's another character I'm leaning towards. Um, I like Virgil, and I like Maya. I Everyone else, I'm not 100% sure on at the moment. Music to my ears. The only pirates welcome on my ship are dead ones. Europa's Bane. Anyone heard of it? It's one of Toussaint Zapata's ships. Ah, fuck. Shoulda known. Who is that? Latest pirate flavor of the month. Led a mining strike on Europa. Stole a few ships. Now self-employed as a full-time murdering psychopath. UNN has been giving her a wide berth. If she wanted to take out this ship, it means she had a good reason. Or, she's just a murdering psychopath. Got it. Thanks. Maya, I'm in the mess hall. Time to find an officer. I've linked the personnel records to your terminal. Try scanning the bodies and see if you get a match. There's so many bodies around here. I'm Looks assuming like the, the tried officer's to mount a defense gotta be here. close. I mean, it's proper grim. These pirates went to people. town in here. Um, everyone's missing their heads and all. I guess we know where their heads this are, of course. Awful. Have you ever seen anything like it? No. Not even on series? Not even on series. Another pirate corpse. That makes two in here. Better than none. Know anything else about the Europa's Bane? Must be pretty massive to tear apart a frigate. Hell should I know. But if you learn any more about them, feel free to fill me in. Hushang. Check the shoulders. UNN officers have those fancy bars. I know pirates are vicious, but this is... You hear stories about people who spend too long off station. Go Big Pagal. Big Pagal? My belter is... It means really fucking crazy. And future note to self, remember to look up. That's the second thing we found that's kind of like on the ceiling. That's so, uh, yeah, my bad. But I think he was the one. Sorry about this. Well, that's grim. She just cut his hand off right there and then. I'm actually a little bit surprised that they didn't show that. Um, open the door to the officer's quarters. So I guess we got the hand or we got the fingerprint so we can open that fuck, door fuck, that we found fuck. earlier. Rayan, what's happening? Uh, uh, an accident. My leg. Uh, it's the Lota, you're the accident. Keep holding. I'll be right there. Drummer, 
Whatever mess he's got himself into, make sure the containment vault is secure. We cannot afford to lose it. Captain, Rayan's back suit is- Not now! Drummer, get your ass over there. On my way. My leg. Samalo, Jama. Samalo. Hold still. We'll see what we can do. What happened? Unexploded charge, I think. Pirates must have left it behind. Pashang, you didn't scan first. Drummer, his suit is punctured and losing pressure. You need to release the vault and patch him now or he could die. Belay that! That vault has O2, fuel, armaments. We can't afford to lose it. Wow, you know it's a big decision when I give it to you like this. Um, on one hand, we get to keep the vault and whatever's inside. They already teased the stuff's inside. But on the other hand, Hold on. I really want to build up a doing? good relation with my officers. I want to be a tough ass, but at the same time, I would like them to back me up when needed. So... We're going to lose the boat. We're going to keep the leg and hopefully keep our crewmate on the side. I wonder if I'm going to regret that later. You're welcome. I'm signaling Virgil to come check on him. But vitals look stable. You did the right thing, Kamina. Bullshit. See if you feel that way in a few weeks when we're running out of supplies. He's right, Poradna. You're a disgrace to Beltaloda. It's done. I've got a feeling that was a huge decision that is going to really impact my game uh, in future episodes, if not this episode. Yeah, I really don't know if I made the right decision. I kind of wanted to keep the vault and keep whatever was inside. They already said, was it Cox said that there were some goodies in there, but I don't trust Cox. I don't like Cox and therefore... I think siding with that was possibly one of the brothers that we saw earlier fighting. Um, siding with one of them, keeping them on side has got to be the better call, surely. Let me know down in the comments if you done something different and what that outcome has meant for you. I'd be interested to know. these you and then big shots kept themselves kind of want to know if she kept the hand or just left it there i'm just saying i would have kept it as a souvenir that doesn't look like much of a barricade i'm not sure what we're looking for in here star map besides the pirates there's no signs of ships in the vicinity so they must have been traveling alone. Interesting. What would bring a ship so far from Earth? 
Something valuable that the pirates couldn't find, but you will. I have something for you. It's a surprise. The biggest surprise would be ten uninterrupted minutes without your voice in my ear telling me how to do my job. Can you give me that? It's my job to double check everything. That lets you focus on your job, which apparently is making my life miserable. Hold that thought. I need to take a shit. Will you remind me to wipe my ass in ten minutes? You know what? Forget about the surprise. Already forgotten. Even with the skeleton, as much as I love the fact that we can uh, interact with a different um, shipmates while we're here, you know, like for instance, finding a cigar, knowing that one of our mates would actually like this cigar, and talking to them about it. I like that. What I don't like is having to wait for that pre-recorded conversation to finish before I can interact with anything else. That's kind of annoying. I guess we're going to have to keep that in mind for the rest of the episodes. I'm kind of obsessed with looking up now. Just in case. And that's the door we came in from. I'm getting turned about. This is Christian Abasarala, Deputy Undersecretary for Peace Operations. I am denying your request for additional support against Belter hostiles. Captain, you lead a well-armed battleship against a single pirate frigate. You are These paintings seem so fishy and so out of place. What ghost um, stories you have heard about this Captain Tucson? Taxidermy, what's that? Job. A stuffed rat? That's a bit random. To do whatever disgraced soldiers do after they have been retired. Regards, Christian Abasarala. This is Christian Abasarala, Deputy Undersecretary for Peace Operations. I am denying your request for additional support against Belter hostiles. Captain, you lead a well-armed battleship against a single pirate frigate. You outnumber them five to one. I don't give half a fuck what ghost stories you have heard about this Captain Tucson. Do your fucking job, or you can hand me your bars directly when you return to Earth to do whatever disgraced soldiers do after they have been retired. Regards, Christian Abasarala. Looks like a personal key card. I should find whatever it opens. Found a key card on the captain. Not sure what it's for though. Check his room? Maybe he has a safe somewhere that pirate scanners wouldn't have picked up. I'm no art snob, but I don't think most paintings are done on iron. Maybe something good on here. Or maybe a lot of dick pics. Guess we'll see. Cap, found something that could be something. Transmitting now. Fuck. That's a lot of data. 
All right. Load up the crew and head back. I'll see if there's any gold in this shit pile. Well, I guess we was right about that painting. Um, I kind of wish I interacted with the other painting, though, because it seems to have triggered... Um, I seem to trigger the next part of the game, so I guess we'll never know what the uh, the deal is with the taxidermy or that other small painting, but we hit the nail on the head. Drummer? Yeah, boss man. Khan's picking up a short in the fusion coupling. She needs you to take a look. Now? Is that necessary? It is, if you want to put this wreck behind us. I'm on it. I gotta admit, so far this first episode has really um, done really well. Um, I'm very, very impressed with with what it's had to offer this space exploration that we've had so far um it's kind of cool i'm excited to see what well i'm excited to see how this episode ends i'm also excited to see the next one as well comes out in just a few days it did break up some pretty large debris though This is Drummer, preparing to access the fusion coupling. Stand by. Maya. Maya, the volcano. You have to see this. Maya is everything. Sabaka! Damn it, that can't be fenced up! This is the way of it. We all know that. Death is part of the pact we make when we venture into the belt. Drummer was one tough bitch. With her past, I figured she would survive anything. But none of us is immune to the realities of life out here. I know Kamina Drummer. And she wouldn't want us wasting our oxygen on mourning. She'd tell us to get off our asses and get to work. That's the drummer I know. She'd be looking ahead to the next score. The next burn. That's right, boss man. I keep my eyes forward. 
But that makes it a lot harder to watch my back. Go on, Cap. Tell them what you did. How the hell did you- Sabaka Wala tried to torch me. Lured me down to the thrusters, hit the engine. Play it off like it was an accident. I bet he was up in the bridge alone before coming down here, yeah? So what? I was setting new coordinates. How was I supposed to know you were on the hull? <laughs> this guy is such a sleaze bag. Why don't we Check the, the logs. Log the totally set us up. Now I understand. Y'all see what's happening? Drummer's making her move. I always wondered when she would. Why did you do it? Was there something on that drive I found? Can you believe this bullshit? You've been planning this since you first stepped on board this ship, haven't you? Mutinous bitch. Ask yourself, who do you trust? Ask yourselves, who do you believe? Me? Or the man who has made promise after promise with no payoff? Darlin, Rayan, take her down to the brig. She's gonna pay for this traitorous bullshit. Do it! Maybe be right, Drama. You can be pretty rough on your crew sometimes. But Beltalorda ain't nothing if we sell each other out to Inyas. Nah. I don't think so, Pampa. Damn skinnies. I should have known. Everybody stay where you are. Stand back. This is still my ship. Why don't you put that gun down, Captain? We're all crew here. We may be scavengers, but we're not criminals. We follow protocol. We solve disputes with words, not violence. That's how we keep our humanity. Give me the gun, Captain. It'll be okay. She's gonna kill me. No one is gonna kill you. I won't be so sure about that. Back off. I'm warning you all. Captain, it'll be okay if you just- Bullshit. Tell it to the skinnies, not me. You want to see what happens to you when they're in charge of this ship? Maybe we should tell them who you really are. God, I'm so sorry. Virgil, my dude, is not, Virgil, your, fault. Is not your fault. But we need You're doing to... the right thing by helping me in the first place. I knew I liked what you. What happened to do no harm, asshole? Are you okay? I'm good. Good. I'll man the bridge while you sort out this shit show. Just don't touch anything! I'll be right there! As soon as Dr. Dipshit here is finished. I did everything for you, drummer. I could have turned you over to Dawes a hundred times, but I didn't. Because we made a deal. Our deal is dead. Oh no. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare- Take him to the airlock. Oh, no! No, drummer! No, let me go! Drummer, no! Please, drummer, no! No! That was very interesting. It was so touch and go that I wasn't sure if the brothers was actually going to help me out or not. Um, I'm glad they did, though. Glad they did. And I knew I liked Virgil.
Listen to me, damn it. Drummer, listen to me. The coordinates on that data drive, they're for the MK core. You've never heard of it, that's exactly my point. Look, you were right, okay? I did try and take you out. I've heard how you ungrateful fucks all talk about me. Why should I let you cash in now? But really, I... I wanted the profits for myself. Because this score drummer... This is the greatest score any scavenger has ever come across. How do you know? More How loot you, is always you, good. I've been at this a long time. When there's a treasure this big, I make it my business to know about it. Look, when you find what's at the other end of those coordinates, the whole system will be on your ass. You'll need me if you want any chance of unloading it. I'm a bastard, okay? I know. But I'm not crazy. Throw me in the brig. You'll be glad I'm still here when the time comes. Listen to me, damn it. Gummer, listen to me. <laughs> okay, so this is the big decision that we saw teased at the beginning of the game. He says we're going to need him. But he's been an absolute git and he deserves to be spaced. But if we need him later, we're gonna need him later. Maybe we get another chance to kill him later as well. So we'll spare him. We'll spare him. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what you chose. And uh, it's gonna be interesting to see the outcome of uh, of that big decision. What now? We've been locked. Cox forgot to hide our drive signature. Hashang, of course he did. <laughs> Captain? Captain Drummer! What are your orders? Captain Drummer! What are your orders? And there we go, guys. We have finished the first episode of the Expanse a Telltale series. Do you know what? I really, really enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. I loved how many decisions there were. I loved how interactive that level was. It felt like we had a lot of freedom. It felt like there was a lot to explore. I love the fact that it was a side quest. I'm a little bit worried that we failed that side quest. I couldn't find that crystal anywhere. If you know where it is, let me know down in the comments because I need to redo it. Um, I wonder if that's going to impact the, the story down the line as well. I'm looking forward to episode two. I don't know about you. Um, I will be showing all five episodes on the channel. We're going to be, you know, going through them. So if you've been enjoying this episode, continue to watch with me because we're going to be going through every single one as they release. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed what you watched. If you found it entertaining, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel that we don't miss out on the next episode real soon. Don't forget, we do actually have an active and growing discord um on the channel as well we've got tons of people in feel free to join the server you know chat to me about your experience with the expanse or what's happening different in yours than than you're going to be seeing in mine i'd be very interested to see just how many twists and turns this game actually has um so yeah hopefully we should actually get a chance to see 
the choices as well. I know in the Telltale series, you do nine times out of ten and get to see how many people picked what option. So after all of this, um, all these credits go, we will hopefully get a chance to see that. And uh, I wonder if we're in the majority of people or the minority. Um, I liked the fact that I got to punch someone um, and that was a choice that was that was made i also like the fact that we had the cho choice between um the legs as well you know chopping off the leg or saving the vault i kind of feel like i should have saved the vault to be honest with you um but at the same time i think that khan i didn't like like khan at all um but at the same time i do think that you know saving that dude's leg um was the right choice these brothers are an in interesting character i kind of want to get on the better side of them um even if i did punch one i think one percent of people failed that fight that's really interesting how 99 percent of people actually got through that fine um 42 percent maya didn't play the prank on drummer what how was that that's interesting i wonder how people got that option maybe they didn't interact with a tanker maybe that's why they didn't play the prank on her that's really interesting anyway guys i'm gonna leave this episode here hopefully you enjoyed it if you did do all the lovely stuff interact with the video um but until next time i've been a monk we've been a chrissy curious i will see you in the next video real soon until then take it easy and happy gaming